Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Desai. I am the Director of Department of Imaging and Interventional Radiology at Jaslok Hospital and Research Centre, Mumbai, India. Uh, in our branch, the one of the most latest and revolutionary thing which is happening is called as MR Guided Focused Ultrasound Surgery or MRGFUS. This is a totally non-invasive surgery. We call it as surgery without surgery. Reason being, we do not touch the patient in this technique at all. The patient is lying still on the MR table. The patient's tumors, the different tumors which we treat under MR guided focal ultrasound surgery are uterine fibroids, uterine adenomyosis, the bone tumors, the prostate tumors, the arthritic joints, and so many other pathologies. So in this, patient just lies on the table, on the MR table. We map the tumor which it is and see it on the MR. And then under the table, we have what is called as a HIFU, high intensity focused ultrasound source. We send these sound waves and concentrate them on these different tumors or the different pathologies which we are treating and completely destroy them exactly like what you do when you do a surgical removal. And beauty is merely by the sound waves without taking any incision, without having any blood coming out, without cutting the patient, without giving any radiation or general anesthesia, you will completely ablate, when, when I say ablate, I mean destroy the tumor exactly like what you would do by opening the patient and taking it surgically out. The results are equal or better than the surgery. And the beauty is, again, the only the tumor which you are targeting gets treated. The adjacent all normal organs, including the adjacent tissue itself, in the organ which the tumor lies are absolutely unaffected and remain absolutely intact and normal. It's almost like a miracle. Trust me, it's like a magic. It's almost like a miracle. And that's beautiful. And commonest tumor for which this started, this technology came into place a few years ago. Now, we already have it in just look for almost last five years. In the world, it has been practiced for last approximately eight to ten years. And uh, the pathology for which this came into place play in a big way is uterine fibroid. Uterine fibroid is a tumor in the uterus of a lady and it gives out to a lot of symptoms. It could lead to bleeding, it could lead to low backache, the urinary problems, the incontinence, it can lead to problems for the passing the stools, it can lead to even anemia due to excessive bleeding during the menstrual cycle, so on. And the standard treatment for uterine fibroid all these days before this came on the scene was either do the open or a keyhole surgery, that laparoscopic surgery, or in some cases trying to put a catheter in the artery which goes and supplies the, the uterus and try to block the uterus, blo block the blood supply and kill it. But comes this MRGFS and today the protocol is completely changed. Now today the first treatment option for uterine fibroid is MRGFS failing which you will consider the second option, that is the surgery. That's what the protocol which is being set across the world right now. Sure, there are some people who may not agree with this. There are some people who may have queries about it, especially the, the I mean, it all depends on uh, how you look at it. But by now across the world, approximately 25,000 fibroids have been treated by this technique. In our own hospital, we have treated more than 1,200 fibroids and uh, results are fascinating. We have follow up in almost every single patient and what happens after the surgery is what therefore we need this follow up is the tumor dies at the end of the treatment and the tumor is thrown out of the body over a period and it decreases in size slowly over a period of one year and almost goes back to hardly 5% or almost 0% at the end of the one year but beauty is the problem or the symptoms for which the lady has come to us, that is either the excessive bleeding during the menstrual cycle, the backache, the anemia, and any other problems, these symptoms come under control usually by either the second or the third menstrual cycle after the treatment. And therefore, 95% of our patients fall in this category. 
five percent yes they have a different kind of a response but more than 95 percent fall into this general category which i'm talking about and similarly we are treating uterine adenomyosis now this is a very odd disease it's an adenomyotic tissue what does that mean is the uterus has got a lining of endometrial cells now these endometrial cells instead of being in a normal location sometimes they jump and go and sit in the wall of the uterus and form a tumor like structure which is called as an adenomyoma now this are very bad in terms of giving the symptoms these patients have excruciating pain unbearable pain especially during the menstruation but even in between the menstruation unbearable pain, absolutely unbearable pain and excessive bleeding and only treatment for that today if adenomyosis is either focal that is just forms a small tumor or generalized when it involves the entire uterus is usually the drugs and the hormones don't help is removing the uterus so if you want now imagine a young lady who has got an adenomyoma you can't tell her that remove your uterus so till today there was no curative treatment now mrg fus we can completely destroy the adenomyotic tissue and give the complete relief to the pain which the lady is suffering no, more than 96 to 98 percent of our patients are pain free usually by either the end of first or second menstrual cycle when it is an adenomyosis after we treat this it's a miracle and quite quite ironically my first patient of adenomyosis was a gynecologist herself she had a diffuse uterine adenomyosis and she knew except removing the uterus there is no other treatment and therefore she came and we did and she is absolutely pain free almost for more than five years that's that's something fantastic so <clears throat> this mrgfs has made such a big change in overall treatment and our approach to different diseases that very rightly in our first world congress on mr guided focus ultrasound surgery which was attended not only by the radiologists was attended by almost every single specialist urologists the gynecologists the neurosurgeons neurologists physicians you name it and one of the senior most neurosurgeon in us in his opening remark said mrg fus is the be next best thing which has happened to medicine after scalpel so you can understand the importance of this new revolutionary you know finding it's unbelievable it's superb now where else do we use it where else is it only in the uterine fibroid or adenomyosis only uh, women related issues no we use it in uh, bone tumors the metastasis the bony metastasis are one of the common thing from many many malignancies could be lung could be breast could be kidney and when you get the metastasis that is a spread of the tumor to the bones they are very very painful extremely painful very difficult to control and how do you what is the present treatment for it giving a radiotherapy you give radiotherapy and how does the radiotherapy process you have to give the radiotherapy which will last anywhere from 10 to 21 sitting patient has to come to the hospital every single day undergo the radiation for whatever that stipulated time may be 30 minutes 40 minutes every single day 5 days a week for 10 days or 21 days or 28 days depending on the different regimes and different parts of the body which are involved and the aim of the radiation in metastasis is a to reduce the pain and b try and control the tumor what does mrg fus do same exactly like the radiation in one sitting in one sitting of one hour you completely ablate that metastasis pain disappears and so does the control of the tumor to certain extent control the spread of the tumor to certain extent reformation of the bone at the site of the treatment everything happens after the treatment of mrg fus so in bone metastasis it has made a phenomenal change in the approach of the treatment and the commonest problem which all of us have is the low back ache and commonest reason for the low back ache is the arthritis of the joints at the back of our spine those joints are called as facet joints we all think when you have low back ache we think it's a disc disc is the less common cause of the low back ache as compared to the facet joint out of 100 low back ache 80 would be due to the facet 20 would be only because of the disc and what is the treatment for facet and how does the facet joint come and i'm sure those who are listening like they can um, uh, understand what exactly i'm saying you get a stiffness early in the morning when you get up your back is stiff you can't get up from the bed it's there is a lot of pain you massage it 
you try to walk it's difficult to walk and as the day progresses slowly by the afternoon and evening the pain decreases you take the physiotherapy you take the anti-inflammatory drugs and all those things and so you have to be on the long term lifelong anti-inflammatory drugs and the physiotherapy that's one is there any surgical method, method available yeah there is something called as radio frequency ablation where we put a needle inside the joint and with the radio frequency it's an invasive it's a big needle put in the joint and we ablate the joint and try to kill the pain or open surgery it's more or less contraindicated nobody does it because you have to take the facets out and there are not one facet there are two facets at every place and usually the facets which get problematic are not less than four or six so that's not a great option what do we do under MRGFS? It's again similar like what we do in the bone metastasis. We take them and we treat six facets that is between L3 to L5 vertebra at one go by ablating. Again, by now I'm sure you know what is ablation. It's a destruction of the nerve which carries the pain from those joints. For these six joints, the nerves around them are ablated. How much time does that take? Not more than an hour to hour and a half. And your pain is gone? forever. Actually, I have my own secretary. We did that. She could not sit for years together. When we did it, from after two or three days, she's such a back to normal. I mean, you can see her. She, she may be there on the website. You can have a look at it. She just jumps around. The other person whom I, I regret for that, there is a, there's a gentleman in our hospital whom I, we treat, treated, and he became fit, moving, working, everything. His wife is cursing me. Now, that he's become so fit that he's doing all kind of wrong things. <laughs> so, this is how uh, the MRGFS is made in a benign pathology. It's not a malignant. So, does it work only for benign and only malignant tumors in the bone? No. In prostate cancer, we have treated it. We have treated 11 patients of prostate cancer by this method. And we are following them up for last more than three years. And all of them are absolutely under control. No complication whatsoever. The PSA level has fallen back to normal. None of them is incontinent and no, none of them developed what is normally seen after the prosthetic surgery that is importance. The two things which happen after prosthetic surgery, very commonly in a larger percentage, are importance and incontinence. They do not happen with MRGFS because we see neurovascular bundles and we see the sphincter and we can protect them before destroying the prostate cancer. So, you can understand why I am so excited and why I'm so happy to talk about this. I can talk for hours together on this. So these are few pathologies which, I, which are used. Right now we are using them. The next step we are going to do is start the treatment for the breast cancer. And still further, which is ex highly exciting, is for the brains. We're going to treat the epilepsy centers. We're going to treat the psychomotor centers, those who cause the psychiatric disorders. We're going to treat the centers which cause the tremors. You know, patients get these tremors, Parkinson's. We're going to treat that without opening the skull, without putting a barrel, without doing a craniotomy, just by sending the sound waves in. We are going to treat the inoperable tumors and we are going to treat the tumors which are not responsible to the chemotherapy by breaking the blood-brain barrier and making them responsive to the chemotherapy agents.